Hi guys, welcome to Hotel Montreal in Paris. This is my room tour. Before we get into the room tour, just some basic facts about where I'm staying, what room I'm in, just for context in case you want to come and stay in Paris. So I'm staying at the Hotel Rochechoir. I'm gonna have that linked down below. I'm staying in a classic room. I think it's called the Classic Double. And it's basically just a bed in the room and a bathroom. I am doing the breakfast option. So I get breakfast every morning. Today's Friday, I'm leaving on Monday. So I'll get breakfast Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. My room was let me get my receipt so I paid a total of 736 so loud also my room is right next to the lift so I thought there's gonna be so much noise so I paid a total of 736 euros 50 and that also included service charge on top of that which was like seven or something euros I think and then when I arrived just now at the front desk I paid 24 euros 39 which is the city tourist tax I think tourists have to pay that because of the Olympics I think I'm 100% sure so I think roughly all in all I paid about like 750 euros for this room so I think that I think that quite like my room is like 200 and something like 170 euros a night I think math is not my strong suit but like I said I'm gonna have this hotel linked down below in case you want to find out any more information about anything this hotel is also part of the also group and they have a bunch of hotels across the city it looks very chic it's like art deco kind of like 20s vibe which is quite interesting not something that I would decorate my place with but I really love how it's done and I think I'm gonna have such a great time here but yeah before I keep here any longer, let's jump right into the room tour. And as always, if you have any questions about anything, let me know down below in the comments. And I also, like I said a million times, have this hotel linked in my description box. So make sure you check that out. And yeah, let's get into the room tour. Oh my God, guys, come on. But yeah, let's get into the room tour. First of all, you come in and you come to the door as you walk in. Also, it's carpeted, which is really nice. On your left, you have the bathroom. It is so cool. I've seen a lot of stuff about the bathroom online. This is a cool bathroom. It's kind of like a wet room kind of situation. I've already unpacked as well. There's a massive mirror. It's so big. And you can see I've got all of my like skincare products. I need to get out my toothbrush because that's still in my bag, but I've got deodorant and then I've got my cleansers. I also have my hot and cold device from LNL Skin. Literally could not have left without that. Right by the entrance, you have where you put your room key in and this controls the electricity and the power then you also have like the light switches and stuff like that then right when you come out the toilet there is a massive floor length mirror which i love a lot i thought this was going to be really good to see what i look like before i leave when i come down for breakfast and go out for the day i love this mirror like i love the detail of that that's so pretty then you turn around from the mirror and we have this kind of like kitchenette, a mini coffee bar. I don't drink coffee, so this is of no use to me, but we've got a mini kitchenette. We've got some cups, an espresso machine. When I was looking at this, I wasn't sure what's in it, but we've got like some other bits for your coffee and your tea. We've also got water, which I would definitely be making use of because I love me some water. And then I've already unpacked my skincare, just my skincare, and I've just put that in here. This is definitely not for skincare, but the bathroom is tiny and there's no place for all of this stuff. So I've just put all of my skincare up here. And because I don't do my skincare in my bathroom anyway, I envision myself just being sat down in front of this big mirror doing my skincare in the morning. So that's why I thought it'd be nice to have my skincare products up against this wall so that I can easily just grab them, sit on the floor and do my skincare. Also my makeup. My makeup has held up really well from this morning. Okay, the next, as we move along, we have a mantelpiece where I put my makeup bag. I'm not gonna unpack my makeup because again, I've got a lot of makeup and there's not really a lot of space in this room. So I've just kept it on the mantelpiece. There is a massive telly, which I'm not really a big television watcher, but I do love watching TV in hotels because I just find it very fascinating, this kind of stuff that's on TV, especially what's on TV in foreign countries. I love that. So we will definitely be seeing what is on this TV. The hotel gave me some mandolins. So I'm going to be eating those once I film this room tour. And they gave me this really lovely note, which is so cute. 
Fun fact, I used to actually do my eyes like that, so this feels even more perfect. Then over here, we've got a chair. I've just put my bag on here. There is the nicest chandelier. It's so funny because the style of this hotel isn't to my taste, but I love like the art deco, like roaring 20s kind of vibe. Like you really see it. It's nice. We have the outside window. Like I said, I'm staying in a classic room, so I don't have any particular view. This was what I was talking about in my blog. I was saying that I kind of wish that I'd have upgraded to a different room to get like proper views of Paris, but I'm still happy with the room that I have because this room is really nice. So right now I can just see like the streets. I'm afraid to open my curtains because there's a guy on his balcony and I'm wondering if he can see me, which I don't think he can because the curtains are closed. What's he doing? But anyway, the view. This is the view from my room. Quite a nice view, kind of like classic chic Parisian views. The next we have the bed. I feel like this is definitely the piece de resistance as we're in France. We have a side table, a lamp and a sconce. I think we've got two sconces and two lamps. This headboard, I love this headboard so much. When I was seeing it in all of the videos and photos online, like I just fell in love with it. I absolutely love this headboard. It's so, it's such an interesting piece. It's not like your typical like rectangular headboard. We've got like some grooves in there like it's nice and i love this kind of faux wood detail like that's pretty cool the bed feels super comfy i'm not sat on the bed yet because i've got my jeans on and we don't sit on the bed with outdoor clothing then on this other side we have another bedside table we've got a phone so you can call down to the front desk got my lip balm again another sconce and a lamp i love this lamp i have a sock roll lamp next to my bed but i think a proper lamp like that would be so 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 nice and i kind of like that they've got different side tables for each side it's kind of like i don't know it's nice to have that mismatch kind of vibe and then we have some artwork on the wall this is the only piece of art on the wall it's nice it's small it's cute next we have the wardrobe the wardrobe where all the magic happens and i'm way too short to reach the top of the wardrobe so i've already unpacked like i've said so we've got all of my bits in here i wish there were like drawers i obviously could never reach up there in a million gajillion years even if i have had to bend up the camera like i'm not i'm not reaching up there at all yeah this is the wardrobe i already unpacked like i've said this is kind of my color scheme very parisian and then i've just got my suitcase in here and my travel bag and this is like underwear and like joggers miscellaneous items and my handbag they do have slippers i walked in and i was like oh they don't have slippers or robe there's no robe but there are slippers which i am very happy about no let's put some slippers on oh my god these these are cozy these are very nice these are actually the nicest slippers that I've had in a hotel. These are very nice. They're kind of like terry cloth. Very nice. Again, we have like this ball kind of detail that's kind of similar to what was on the mirror, which is quite nice. And then we've got like the dark wood, which is nice. And then I think that's everything. All right, yes. Also in the wardrobe, as always, there is a safe. And then you also have this, um, this stand where you can like put your suitcase on if you want to pack or unpack. So that will come in handy. Okay. What else is there? Like I said, many time I already unpacked. So all of my shoes are out here. These are all the shoes that I'm going to be wearing over the next two days. I've got my boots, literally three pairs of boots, two pairs of trainers, and that's how we're doing it. Who else loves a dirty white trainer? Like I'm obsessed with dirty white trainers. Like I just love that so much. And then, oh, I didn't show you this bit. And then here we have a cooler. So if you want to like get like a drink or something and put it in the cooler, then you can do that. But I will not be doing that. So this is the hotel. There is also a restaurant and there is a bar and there's a rooftop bar as well. I'll try and get some videos of that and include it. If not, just keep an eye out on my vlogs and stuff. Guys, I'm so excited. I know I keep saying this and you're definitely sick of this, especially if you've been following along this journey. I don't know what order you're watching my videos in, but I can't believe that I've come to Paris by myself. Like I'm staying by myself. This feels so surreal, but at the same time, it feels so like normal and i don't know what that means i don't know like it just feels so normal to be here like i feel like i've stayed here before i just need to work on my french but yeah this is the room tour let me know if you have any questions and i will see you in the next one bye guys mm -hmm.